to week three of my Ahsoka Tano cosplay journey. And this week I'm going to focus on Ahsoka's dress. I already received the fabric, so here it is. Um, don't be confused, it's only a piece of the whole fabric. Um, so this is from... I put it in the description, I don't know where I've got it from. <laughs> Oh, it's too, it's too late in the evening. Anyways, um, it's a fake suede. I don't know how this word is pronounced. English is confusing me. Uh, it's a scoop, scuba suede. I keep calling it suede for now. So yeah, this week. We're starting the dress, leaving the ammo parts aside. Oh, and what I shouldn't forget are their pants Ahsoka is wearing. Uh, for these, I think I'm making them out of the same material. And as the color is a tad darker than the dress itself, uh, I guess I'm going to dye the fabric for the pants later. Yeah, so they're a tad darker. Um, yeah, let's tackle the dress. I patterned the dress out of a tight fitted shirt, as you can see here. As the fabric is a four-way stretch, this method was no problem at all. Though, I added two centimeters of seam allowance, just in case the dress would turn out a tad too tight. I then sewed the two halves of the dress loosely together for a quick fitting test. And it worked! So, here we are. I quickly stitched. Uh, it together instead of just pinning it and I think it works just fine yay after properly sewing the dress together with my overlock I added a simple collar with an open front unfortunately I forgot to add something inside to give the collar a bit more stiffness so I'd recommend adding something which supports the shape a renowned fleece or something similar would be perfect for this So here we are. This is the. Here we are. So this is the final base of the dress. Obviously, the sleeves are still missing, um, but they're soon to follow. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick presentation of what I sewed so far. As you have seen in the snips before, I used a very tight-fitting top as a base, or let's say as a shape reference, and patterned this directly onto my final fabric, because I didn't have any uh, stretchy mock-up fabric, so I decided to take the risk. And it luckily worked, which is a miracle in my case. So yeah, what I did as I showed you is I added the collar. Uh, the gap is a bit too wide uh, when comparing it to the references, but it's okay, it's, uh, it's fine. And I have uh, elongated the shape of the top to uh, achieve the, the dress length and cut it into the V shape. Uh, at the front and the back and uh, in the back I added a zipper uh, to get this whole piece over my head <laughs> because it's very tight fitting here at the neck area and don't look at the zipper very detailed I'm not good at sewing zippers so I will turn this again so the next thing I have to sew are the sleeves Ha! Can't believe how happy I am that this thing worked out and it looks hella good when we are warm. And still I have, uh, I have to uh, face the dress sliding upwards when walking. So I think I am going to tackle this by adding either small snap buttons at the sides or the front and the back. Or maybe simply using some 
How are they called? Security pins? There's those, those... Safety pins! Safety pins. But we'll see <laughs> once the pens are finished. Um, which brings me to the pens. Um, these are going to be next after I finish the sleeves. Uh, but for now, let's continue with the dress. After the base of the dress was finished, I continued with the gloves. For those, I again made a pattern out of plastic wrap and duct tape, drawn the shape of the gloves and cut everything out. Let's continue our sewing session with the pants. I already had a pattern at hand, which I have used for my Ziri cosplay. The fabric I used is exactly the same as the dress. Thanks to the pattern, the making of was very easy. Just cut out four pieces for the legs and one piece for the waistband, add an elastic and in the end sew them all together. Adding the applications of the dress was a bit tricky though, as I have never worked with iron-on vinyl before. Luckily, I had lots of help from my dear friend Elisa, who not only prepared pre-cut vinyl strips in the design of Ahsoka's applications, but also had wonderful suggestions. Thanks to her help, the last step on Ahsoka's dress was done within one or two hours.
And here is the result. I like the overall look of the dress a lot and I am very happy it turned out just as I wanted. Well, that's it for this vlog. I am really sorry that it took me so long to finish it. Um, but I'd say I had a quite good excuse for this. Anyways, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Other than that, see you next time. Bye.